History of Immigrants in USA The history of immigration to the United States details the movement of people to the United States from the colonial era to the present. The United States experienced successive waves of immigration, particularly from Europe and later from Asia and Latin America. Colonial era immigrants often paid the cost of transoceanic transportation by becoming indentured servants, where the new employer paid the ship's captain. Starting in the late 19th century, immigration was restricted from China and Japan. In the 1920s, restrictive immigration quotas were imposed, although political refugees had special status. Numerical restrictions ended in 1965. In recent years, the largest numbers have come from Asia and Central America. Colonial Era In 1607, the first successful English colony settled in Jamestown, Virginia. Once tobacco was found to be a profitable cash crop, many plantations were established along the Chesapeake Bay in Virginia and Maryland. Thus began the first and longest era of immigration, lasting until the American Revolution in 1775. During this time, settlements grew from initial English toeholds from the New World to British America. It brought Northern European immigrants, primarily of British, German, and Dutch extraction. The British ruled from the mid-17 largest group of arrivals, remaining within the British Empire. Over 90% of these early immigrants became farmers. Large numbers of young men and women came alone as indentured servants. Their passage was paid by employers in the colonies who needed help on the farms or in shops. Indentured servants were provided food, housing, clothing, and training, but they did not receive wages. At the end of the indenture, usually around age 21 or after a service of seven years, they were free to marry and start their own farms. Other Colonies Spanish Although Spain set up a few forts in Florida, notably San Agustin, present-day St. Augustine, in 1565, they sent few settlers to Florida. Spaniards moving north from Mexico founded the San Juan on the Rio Grande in 1598 and Santa Fe, New Mexico in 1607 to 1608. The settlers were forced to leave temporarily for 12 years, 1680 to 1692, by the Pueblo Revolt before returning. French In the late 17th century, French expeditions established a foothold on the St. Lawrence River, Mississippi River, and Gulf Coast. New Orleans expanded when several thousand French-speaking refugees from the region of Acadia made their way to Louisiana following British expulsion, settling largely in the southwest Louisiana region, now called Acadiana. About 7,000 French-speaking immigrants settled in Louisiana during the 18th century. 1920 to 2000 Restriction preceded piecemeal over the course of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, but immediately after the end of World War I, 1914 to 1918, and into the early 1920s, Congress changed the nation's basic policy about immigration. The National Origins Formula of 1921 and its final form in 1924 not only restricted the number of immigrants who might enter the United States, but also assigned slots according to quotas based on national origins. The bill was so limiting that the number of immigrants coming to the U.S. between 1921 and 1922 decreased by nearly 500,000. 28.4 million immigrants now live in the United States the largest number ever recorded in the nation's history, and a 43% increase since 1990. As a percentage of the population, immigrants now account for more than 1 in 10 residents, 10.4%, the highest percentage in 70 years. Recent Immigrant Stats In 2019, the United States issued just over 1 million green cards, of these green cards, 63% were based on familial relationships, 81% of which went to immediate family relatives of U.S. citizens and green card holders. 5% were based on employment, 
and the remainder were based on various humanitarian concerns or the diversity green card lottery. More than half of those obtaining a green card were adjustments of status, meaning that they were already in the United States, as opposed to new arrivals from abroad. The demand to immigrate to the United States, combined with numerical limits and per-country caps on family and employment-based migration, has created a backlog of individuals who have been approved for green cards but who are not yet able to receive them.